Hi, I have a quick tip for you today for using the neutral density gradient in Photoshop. There's a preset gradient in Photoshop that mimics the effect of using a split neutral density filter. This filter is most commonly used in um, daylight photography scenes where the sky is a little bit too bright but the foreground is reasonably well lit. So essentially the top half of the filter is dark while the bottom half of the filter is clear. The end result is the sky is darkened down in the exposure without affecting the foreground. So here what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our gradient tool. We're going to go up to our options bar and I'm going to click on the gradient picker. I'm going to come to the last icon up here which is the neutral density option. Uh, and I went over to the mode in here and I changed it to overlay. That's vital and key. I have my opacity set to 100%. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take my uh, mouse or my gradient tool on the left hand side. I'm going to press and drag with my shift key down and I'm going to drag about oh about this far where I want the darkness to stop. So I'll go there and I'll undo it and maybe I'll pull it a little bit farther. So where I end up is where it's going to go back to its normal quote unquote exposure of the picture. That looks much nicer. That darkens down that background. My eyes really not drawn to that uh, as much as it was before. Now let's take a look at a more traditional use of a neutral density filter. I'm going to click on the tab to go to a different photograph. Uh, here we're shooting a landscape and again the sky is a little bit overexposed because the metering system was looking at the, the actual foliage and so it, it metered that correctly and thus it overexposed the skies a little bit. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the same gradient tool, make sure I'm on the neutral density, make sure I'm on overlay, 100% opacity, I'm going to press and I'm going to drag uh, basically up and down. So I'm going to go right up here down to about this far midline in the tree line here and it works out really well. If there would happen to be where the sky was kind of uh, dark on one side and light on the other. You can also drag this gradient. It will do that darkening on an angle. So you could go ahead and drag it in the direction of the way the light is going and then you know match what you're trying to fit on the other part of the sky. This one looks pretty good just going from the top down to about middle and then checking it.